Terry Hawkridge, first and foremost, I need to apologise for dragging you all the way up the stand here because that was a tough medical you went through this morning. Yeah, I think it's something, obviously, you have to, to go through to see where you're at and obviously to, to let the medical team know where you're at. So, yeah, it was tough, but um, like I say, it's something that needs to be done. And, and you know, I, I enjoyed it and, you know, met, a, met the medical team and, and obviously the guy that put me through my face. So it was all fun and games, but, you know, it needs to be done. Yeah, you made a joke to Mike Edwards that you'd just finished the season with Lincoln City, you were looking forward to a break and then we hit you with this. Yeah, um, obviously, like you say, I didn't really know what was happening, obviously after the league, our league finished, so, um, and, and obviously when I heard I was coming for a medical, it's something, you know, needs to get done and, you know, now I've done that and see where I'm at, I can, you know, go and enjoy a break and, and come back ready for, you know, pre-season and up and coming season. Let's talk a little bit about last season because it was a, an amazing one for Lincoln City. You must have thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's probably the, one of the highlights of my career. You know, um, to win the national league is is amazing. It's it's a hard league to get out of, and not only that, it's we we had an amazing FA Cup run and, and a trophy run, and and you know it's it's always something I can I can I can look back on, and you know the things I've achieved there. It's been amazing, and you know hopefully I can I can achieve many more things. I can only imagine the season that you've just had at Lincoln made it a very, very difficult decision to leave Central Bank. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, uh, we we sort of built a life there. We've uh, we we got a house there, and, and you know, it's a, it's a great club and, and a great place. And you know, it was really a tough decision, but you know, it's I've I've got uh, like I say, I've got unfinished business here as I was here as a kid, and, and you know, got re got released and and stuff like that. And you know, it's it's my hometown, so you know, it's a club. I can always look back and I mean, I'm really buzzing to come back and, you know, hopefully do a job. Local lad, aren't you? Whereabouts in Nazi from? Yeah, I'm from um, Top Valley originally. Um, I live with, live with my partner in Lincoln. Um, so, yeah, like you say, it's a, a, a hometown club for me. So, you know, it's, it's exciting times. Just talk us through that sort of junior football phase you went through, obviously released by Nazi as a youngster. What, what sort of memories have you got from that time? Um, you know, I think I think it's helped me in in the long run because you know, it's football. There's always going to be up and downs, and you know, there was a bit of down moments. Obviously, getting released from your two local sides as a kid, it's and then you go up through the ranks really. But you know, like I say, I think it's made me stronger as a footballer because I've had them bad moments, and, and you know, I've had a, a lot of good moments, and hopefully, I can, like I say, bring many more good moments here. So. Was it always in the back of your mind that you'd like to come back to Notts and, and not prove people wrong, but to to show these fans what you could do? Yeah, you see, I was I was I was a kid. I think I was f 14 when I when I got released. Um, so you know, I've I've grown up as a footballer and as a person. So you know, it's always good. And like you say, I've always looked at the club and obviously the two local clubs. And you know, I'm so happy to obviously get the opportunity now and, and prove to people what I can do and hopefully make memories here. You were in talks with the club for a brief spell, I believe you met with the chairman and the manager, what was the outcome of that? Yeah, they're really nice guys and obviously they know where they want to go and what the club wants to be doing so um, really, I was really interested in obviously in what they want to do and you know I wanted to, to obviously come and have a look around and hopefully get on board and, and you know everything's gone well and looking forward to obviously starting in Obviously, learning a lot because obviously they have a lot of experience, and you know there's a lot of experienced players. So hopefully, I can I can learn a lot and hopefully bring things here. With Kevin Nolan being the manager, obviously a, a former Premier League, you know, superstar almost. Um, you know, how inspiring is that opportunity to work with somebody a top top pro, somebody with such a good reputation in the game for somebody like yourself? Yeah, like I say, he's obviously he's been there. He's he's played at the highest level and. I know I'm going to learn a lot on and off the pitch from him and you know I'm I'm looking forward to obviously doing that and and like I say he's going to he's going to help me off and on the pitch and hopefully I can or we can get to to where this club needs to be it's up the league so hopefully we can do that winger which side do you prefer what is what's your style of play what what are the fans going to see from you next um, season I can play on either wing um I can cross with both feet um I, I'm right footed but I I, I like to play on the left to cut in on the right, but you know I, d I don't mind. Obviously, wherever the gaffer wants me to play, really, I've 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 got a bit of pace. I've got a few tricks, and I like to to obviously probably my main threat is crossing and obviously 
finishing, which I think I, I need to do more of shooting, got to get more goals and stuff. But I know I can bring goals here and hopefully get results. You mentioned there that the clear ambition of the club is to move up the leagues. Do you feel that's a, a realistic ambition? Yeah, definitely. Like you say, the club's the club's massive. Um, I just think we need to get a, get a, like you say, we've got the management team and, and all the staff here and get the players on board and I think we, we'll be fine. Like you say, it's it's a club that needs to be up the leagues and it's never too far to grab and I just think we just need to go out there do what we do best on the pitch and, and see where it gets us. And from a personal point of view, we're coming towards late May now but you've got your future sorted. You can go into the summer and you can prepare knowing exactly where you're going to be playing next year. You must be really pleased with the timing and, and the, the, the pace that this has moved at. Yeah, definitely. It's always like you say. It's always good to to get something sorted early doors, and and you know to to know where you're going to be in the future. It's it's always good so you can sort of settle and and to work on what we, what you want to do and where where you want to go. And and you know, I'm, I, like I'm I'm settled now. I'm gonna obviously be here, and I can work on obviously coming back pre-season and be fit and, and you know ready to go. How do you actually handle the close season? Obviously, you've now got a few weeks before you come back in for pre-season training. You know, what do you do? Do you still do a lot of fitness work, or is this time to rest for you? No, I love a I love a two-week rest where obviously we go on holiday, um, and then I'll go into the gym and you know do a bit of you know fitness work and you know other stuff. I think I need to work on so, and then you know when I come in, I think I'll I'll be ready. So you know, just have a couple of week off and then straight back at it. Massively exciting season ahead for you. Yeah, massive. Um, very excited. Um, like you say, it's a massive club, and hopefully, I can come here and prove what, what I'm about, and you know, help the team where it needs to be.